Oh, Did y'all ever wonder why Devin Haney clinches up every single time he gets hurt in that boxing ring? Did y'all ever wonder why Devin Haney does not fight back every time he gets rocked in that ring? I'ma tell you, Bill Haney is the reason that Devin Haney clinches up. Bill Haney is the reason why Devin does not have that dog in his heart. Bill Haney doesn't have a dog in his heart, that is the reason why. If Bill Haney was a boxer, he would be the softest boxer on the face of the earth. Let me explain. When Ryan Garcia was whooping Devin Haney's ass the other day, Bill Haney was seen from the crowd telling Devin to clinch up every single time he got hurt. You don't know shit about boxing. I said it before I say it again. Shout out to Derrick James, one of the best trainers in the sport of boxing. Respect to Derrick James for having the perfect game plan for Ryan Garcia. Everybody take a look at Bill Haney. Watching Devin Haney get whooped and all the man could do was tell Devin to clinch up. Bill gotta be the worst trainer in the sport of boxing today. What the hell would Bill Haney really know about boxing when the man never boxed himself? What the hell would Bill Haney know about fighting when the man never had a street fight a day in his life? It's good to have guys with guys that's, that have been in the ring before, that got ring experience as a fighter to be in your corner so they can help you when you get in certain situations. Mm. When, you, when you're in a fight, or when you get hit with a big shot, who's ever in his training camp, who's been a fighter before? Mm. Not a guy that's holding the mitts or a guy telling you how to hit the bag. We need somebody with some with, with a boxing background, with some type of boxing background that's able to help you when you get in the gym in a big fight. Hey, yo, Devin Haney, bro, with all due respect, I think you are a good fighter. Not a great fighter, but if you want to be a great fighter, I suggest you leave your pops. I suggest you fire Bill Haney from your team, get a new trainer, and maybe you might become a champion again. Because if Bill Haney stays in Devin Haney's corner, it'll be detrimental to Devin Haney's boxing career. Bill Haney is the worst thing to ever happen to Devin Haney professional-wise. You need some help with your son? You need some help the other motherfucking night? You need some help with your son? Listen. Hey, yo, Devin Haney, you really got to ask yourself, bro. What is the real reason that Ryan Garcia leaked that video of Javante Davis beating you up and sparring about 10 years ago? What made Floyd Mayweather send Ryan Garcia that video of you getting whooped on by the face of boxing? I'm going to tell you, Bill Haney is the reason that that video got leaked. If it wasn't for Bill Haney, nobody would have ever saw Javante Tank Davis beating up Devin Haney in that sparring. You need some help the other yeah. motherfucking night? You oh, need some help with your son? We already know that Floyd Mayweather and Ryan Garcia are friends. They hang out at the gym. They train at the gym. Speaking of that, Floyd Mayweather actually FaceTime Ryan Garcia after Ryan Garcia beat the brakes off Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia shared this picture right here. It is Floyd Mayweather congratulating Ryan for beating up that hype job, Devin Haney. Oh, Speaking of Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia tweeted this out on Twitter today. It says, it is on, bitch ass Abdul Wahid. I never lost because your name isn't Javante Davis anymore. Let's run it, Abdul. You see, this is where I gotta disagree with Ryan Garcia. If you check Javante Davis' Instagram and his Twitter, he has not changed his name to Abdul Wahid. It is still Javante Tank Davis. And I don't care what none of y'all say to me. The man's real name, his legal name that his mother gave him is Javante Tank Davis, not Abdul Wahid. I know Ryan Garcia is kind of hyped up because he just beat the brakes off Devin Haney. Congratulations to him. But I really don't think that calling Javante Davis Abdul Wahid is going to make anything any better. His name is Javante Tank Davis. It will always be Javante Tank Davis. Thank you, Jesus! Other than that, I agree with Ryan Garcia on everything else he says. Like when the man tweeted out, Jesus is the greatest. Amen to that. But speaking of Bill Haney, the king of all deceivers, 
The man who wanted to make this some type of religious war, but after his son got his ass whooped, then the man tried to play victim. And I definitely believe in Jesus. Don't confuse the people, you know, as if it was it was a, a holy war or that we, we, we somehow don't believe in Jesus or go against Jesus. Yeah, I right. nobody believes you, bro. You see, Bill Haney always wanted to make this some type of religious war. Bill Haney always wanted to make this about Javante Tag Davis, not Ryan Garcia. Like when Bill Haney put out this right here. How dare a black man call another black man a monkey? Abdul Wahid? Hey, she's scared of him. For months, Bill Haney was calling Javante Davis a monkey for some reason. I truly don't understand why, but when you really think about it, Bill Haney's wife is white. Bill Haney is married to a white woman. Maybe that's where this comes from. I really couldn't tell ya. You need some help to usher motherfucking night. Some clown on Twitter tweeted to Javante Davis. Hey yo, Javante, Devin Haney is your brother. Then some clown said, yo, he's your Muslim brother. You guys are both Muslim. Javante Davis responded back with, he is not my brother. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> It seems like Devin Haney fanboys are trying to bring religion into this as always and then play victim as always. Trying to make Javante Davis and Devin Haney be some type of religious brothers. If that was really the case, Bill Haney wouldn't use Javante Tank Davis name every single day of his life. Hey yo Bill Haney, get it through your heads. Javante Davis will never fight Devin Haney unless it's at 135 and he has every right to make the fight at 135. Javante Davis is the A side. Javante Davis is undefeated. And rumor is that Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney only did 200,000 pay-per-view buys. Nowhere near Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia. That's right, Javante Davis will forever be the face of boxing, especially when it comes to Mr. Henderson of Vada, the man who was crawling on the ground from a man that Javante Davis already stopped. You need help with your son? Have I ever needed your help for anything? You need some help with your son for some help? You need some help Help the other motherfucking night? You need some help the other motherfucking night? You need some help with your son? Listen, he's not a pay-per-view attraction.